Hello, everyone. Sam's got a brilliant idea. We're going to make a real hotel for fairies. A fairy hotel. Oh, hi, guys. Right. These jars will form the basis. Let's glue them together. Don't forget to be careful working with the hot glue. The jars have different shapes and dimensions. This way, the hotel's going to look like one in a fairy tale. Sam, what are you doing? Phew! Cardboard pieces, of course. Yeah, Sammy can cut cardboard with his eyes closed. We'll use these parts to make the roof and the walls. Yeah, no, Sue, it doesn't look so fairy for now. Oh, Sammy, don't worry. Your fairies will definitely stay at our hotel. This is just the base. We've got a lot of work to do. Da -da, da -da, da. Oh, do, do, I got it! Do, 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 We're gonna do. cover it with cardboard and then color. No, Sammy. This craft is something between sculpture, architecture, and art. I'm telling ya, it's just the base for the fairy house. It's very important to make it stable. One thing at a time, all right? Just please don't get ahead of yourself. You captured my attention. I'm gonna cut more cardboard. It calms me. Yeah, Sammy's kind of on edge today. By the way, you can help him calm down with a thumbs up. Give one. Sam likes cutting, and I like gluing cardboard pieces together. One puddle next to another, this way. I've almost finished making the roof bases for this tower. Yeah, I cut these for the towers. Look, I'm a magician. <laughs> Sammy, you're a dreamer. But these cones are perfect. Let's glue them on the towers. Our hotel's base is almost ready. Let's add some glue on the jar's cap. This way. Good. And attach the cone roof. Now we're going to do some art magic. You're beating around the bush, Sue. Not at all. What do you know about sculpture, Sammy? It's sculpted. Oh, the cannoli! I got it! Like, sculpt! Guys, to make this craft, we'll need paper clay and these tools. Sue, it's even better than I imagined. A real stone house. Exactly. Let's get started. Take some clay. All right. And apply it carefully on the roof. This way. Sue, I've got a question. Yes, Sammy, tell me. Maleficent is a fairy, right? Well, yeah. Sue! What? Shouldn't fairies be small and invisible? Oh. According to some legends, fairies aren't tiny creatures but invisible spirits who can transform into people. Even small fairies can become big if they want. Yeah, no, Sue. You are suspiciously well aware of fairies. Are you one of them by any chance? Oh, it's possible, Sammy. How do you think I got magic craft powers? <laughs> Huh. It's still strange. Why didn't I notice it before? Huh. I'm gonna prepare treats. Yes, our guests might be hungry after the trip. Guys, do you believe in fairies? Give a thumbs up down there if you do. First, I advise you to cut out the windows and the door because the clay sets very quickly. And later, you won't be able to change anything. Let's make a little window in the front door. Carefully. This stage needs patience. To smooth the surface, wet your hands in water. Or sprinkle some water with a spray bottle. Oh, would you like a jelly? Oh, thanks, Sammy. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. What? What are you up to, Sam? That's strange. Anyway, let's continue covering the house with clay. Good. And I'll place this here. Sue, so, your favorite color is green, isn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Sammy, what are you writing there? 
I'm doing research. Oh, I guess I got it. Sam's trying to figure out if I'm a fairy. <laughs> Sometimes I think I might be. My hands are magic, that's for sure. <laughs> I think I can play along with him. In the meantime, we're at the finish line. It's the last tower to be covered! Well, well. <laughs> Your house looks magic. That means she has magic skills. Guys, check out the hotel we made! Let's cut out a few more windows. All right, and add some magic. I think I'm on the threshold of a great discovery. Fairies can pretend to be people. Now let's make little logs out of the clay. Just like those you can see in the country or forest houses. I think a forester or a hunter could live in a hut like this. Or a witch. Ooh, right. An old witch cooking her potions and collecting magic herbs. Actually, I wish I had a house in a forest. Oh, she wants to have a house in the forest to make potions! I think he bought it. <laughs> Sammy, can you help me? Yes, Sue, how can I help? Could you make the roof, please? It's easy. Here, I'll show you. Huh, she's very polite and kind. Yes, so sure I can. You should do this. Got it! Look! So, don't you think something's missing? What do you mean? Looks perfect to me. Susie, you have some fairy dust in your eyes? Frames! You forgot window frames! Oh, Sam! <laughs> right you are. Let's make the window frames. Before, they were just invisible. But now, I'm gonna put a spell and you'll see them all. You can't trick me, Susie. You just forgot them. <laughs> That's right. It's hard to fool you. Let's add some more details. Like this. It'll seem like the basement's made of stone. This way. Oh, I'd like to stay in a house like this, too. Sue, our fairy hotel has so many windows. We can host a whole delegation. By the way, how many fairies are we expecting? Uh, I think around ten. Oh, my feta! Sue, I have to make more treats! Don't worry, Sammy. We have a lot of things. I like the house we made, but that's not all. Here's the most interesting part. Let's make our gray house colorful! Oh, that's my favorite stage. By the way, Sammy, how's your research? Well, I figured out something. That I'm a fairy? Sue, how did you know? That was secret research. <laughs> you don't hide well, Sammy. I'm not a fairy. Are you sure? You fit in all respects. I am sure. Although there could be fairies in the family. Really? So I was wrong! <laughs> Maybe. Let's keep coloring the house. Guys, do you like coloring? I love it. I had lots of coloring books when I was little. This is kind of a new level. <laughs> do you want to paint the roof? I'm ready. Coloring roofs is my calling. Would you mind if I help you, Sammy? Nope. I really need your help because I still have to finish one thing. But don't ask me. It's a secret. Oh, okay. I'll finish myself. Your enthusiasm vanishes so quickly. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to turn the notifications on. Tink the bell. Tinker Bell? Are they already here? But, but nothing's ready! Oh, no, Sammy. I just reminded our viewers to subscribe. Phew. 
anyone having a nervous breakdown? Don't worry. Check out this beautiful house. Oh, wow. I'd love to live in a house like this. Oh, sorry, Sam. You won't fit. Will you show me what you prepared? Yep, it's time. should be in a forest. Where can we find a forest? Here! I made a little grove so our guests can feel at home. Wow! <gasps> it's genius, Sammy! You're a very gracious host. You made a great grove. Oh, now it is perfect! Come on, Sue, the fairies are here! Bye, guys! Do you think they'll like it? No doubt. Hi, guys! Today we're gonna make a cool house from cardboard! Not just a house, Sue, but a mushroom house! Can you believe it? A dwelling in the form of a mushroom! If you can't wait to see what it's gonna look like, give us a thumbs up! <laughs> Relax, Sammy, we have a lot of work to do! This is the reference form for the rest of the pieces. Now we'll draw a circle of the size we need. Be careful with the compass, guys. This tool is usually really sharp on one end. And now we're gonna draw another circle, but a smaller one, inside the first one. Okay, Susie, I'm ready to cut everything out! Just in time, Sammy. Here, take this. We're gonna need to cut out a lot of pieces for our mushroom house. Like this one, for example. Huh, even the outline is already done. And also these. I cut them out in advance. Sue, we are a perfect team! If you agree, guys, then give a thumbs up! <laughs> right, Sammy. Now we can start assembling the frame. Oh, where's the glue gun? Oh, oh, I can help you find it! Bibbity bobbity subscribity! <laughs> That's your favorite spell, Sammy. And definitely the most useful one. Here we go. Be careful with the hot glue shoe, and you guys should also be careful. Or ask an adult to help you. Sam's right. This stage of the process should be very neat, so that the frame of the house turns out as it should be. This requires a lot of attention. The second piece goes right here, like that. Hey, Sammy, tell me more about those unusual houses you read about earlier today. Oh, I really like the one in Poland. It's called the Carrot House. Its only dweller and designer literally squeezed it between two neighboring buildings. Can you imagine it? It's only slightly more than one meter wide at its widest point! What a pragmatic approach! <laughs> yep, that guy totally didn't want to waste any space. And I don't want to waste our time, so hop! And the mushroom cap is ready. We'll put it aside for a bit and turn to assembling the stem. I'm here to help shooting! Quick, move! Uh, okay, goes so here and done! Well done, Sammy! What a great helper you are! Let's put the mushroom cap on top. There we go! All we have left to do is fill in the openings by gluing the rest of the details. Stay tuned! Hey, Susie! I cut out these pieces I asked for. What's next? Oh, thanks, Sammy. We'll need them very soon. Just let me finish with this. What is this, Sue? A window, of course. There can't be a house without windows, right? Guys, be very careful with the cutter. It's really sharp, so don't cut your fingers. Why, doesn't this window look too simple for such an unusual house? Trust me, it won't be. This is why we need those pieces that you kindly prepared. Look, we'll glue these rectangles like this. One after the other. It's pretty easy. Oh, I got it! It'll be a window ledge! That's right! And now we'll take this piece, slightly bend it like this, and make a little canopy. And since the mushroom house itself sounds more like a tiny, cozy fairy tale forest hut, we'll make its windows also a bit fairy like. <laughs> See? It doesn't look too bad, huh? What do you think, Sammy? I think that one window is absolutely not enough! 
Let the fairy magic do the trick! Whoa! Whoa, guys, just check them out! <gasps> oh, they all turned out different! I can't believe that my fairy magic has expired! Oh, no, 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 don't be upset, Sammy. I really like that each window looks unique. I think it'll add more charm to this little house. Actually, we can even place them quite randomly. Let's see. By the mozzarella, this house reminds me of the story about Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Wait a second. For now, this house won't even be able to stand the slightest breeze. That's right, which is why we'll now cover the whole frame with these cardboard strips. Come on, move. Whoa. Are you ready, guys? Oh, I almost forgot about the door. It'll be right here. Huh, if you ask me, the door canopy should also be decorated. Huh, that's perfect. Huh, decorator Sam's back in business. <laughs> now let's mark the door itself. It will be rounded at the top, of course. By the way, Sammy, I liked your reference to the seven dwarfs. They totally could have considered this shape for the dwarf's house for the film. You meant to shape for the cartoon that they drew back in 1937, right? <laughs> well, yeah. In my mind, a giant mushroom could perfectly match the landscape of that fairy forest. Don't you think so? Sammy, maybe you should consider yourself working as a special advisor to cartoon creators. <laughs> This actually sounds like a great idea, Susan! Imagine, they will call me day and night asking for my professional opinion on every single thing! Hold it! Day and night! What if I'm busy with our crafts? Or I'm eating something tasty? No, 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 no. I'd rather be the star of this channel. Here I can do whatever I want and eat whatever I want. I'll go grab something from the fridge, by the way. <laughs> oh, Sammy! <laughs> Oh, what a nice idea it was to have a break for a snack. Whoa, Sue, is this a chimney pipe? How did you manage to do all that? Well, I had no breaks for a snack, Sammy. Well, it looks just awesome. Hey, what are you doing now? Oh, I decided to decorate our big mushroom with a bunch of smaller ones. I thought this way our little house would look even more natural. A bunch, you say? But I only see this one toadstool. Come on, Susie, admit that you need my help with these. <laughs> well, actually... Oh, how long was I absent after all? <laughs> Relax, Sammy. We're still far from finishing the craft. We've got so much work ahead. I'm gonna need a lot of help from you. Say no more, Susan. I think I know what you want me to do. I'll be right back. Guys, you know that you can make as many of these as you want, right? Or you can even come up with something else to complete your own mushroom houses. Just get creative, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Susie, I've noticed that our house is missing something. Oh, wow, Sammy, good job. It's a porch, guys. It goes right here. Perfect. I also found this. These craft paper sheets might be useful for our mushroom house. You're totally right, Sam. Check this out. We'll take one, and then we'll crumple it properly like this. We need to shape it as if it's a little rock or something. And then we'll simply attach it to our house. Right here, at the bottom. Let's do the same all around the house. Cool! Huh, if you don't mind. Oh, it goes here. <laughs> now I like it very much. The door looks wonderful, Sammy, and you carved a heart? <gasps> How sweet! This looks so cute! But you know, I've been thinking, mushrooms are usually well hidden in the grass. Now you're reading my mind. Hop! Okay, guys, I really like how our mushroom house turned out, but we definitely can't leave it like this. Whoa, my favorite stage painting! Hold it, Sammy, not yet. Oh. <laughs> At first, we need to cover the whole thing with clay. This will make the house look neat and even more realistic. But shoo, we will need a ton of clay to cover all this. It'll take us forever. <laughs> well, it won't if you help me. Besides, we can talk about something interesting. It always makes the work process smooth, and time just spins away. <laughs> In 
Interesting, you say. Well, did you know that the most expensive house in the world is worth $2.9 billion? It's actually a palace. The Buckingham Palace. Cool, huh? Woo, that's quite a lot of money. In cash, this money would be a giant pot. You say? You're gonna need, like, a whole separate house just to keep such a sum in there. <laughs> that's right, Sammy. Tua, I decided to help you prepare more clay. Thanks, Sam. This is exactly what we need. It's perfectly. Phew, I also want to try. May I, may I, may I? Sure, Sammy. I'll go make a mushroom. You're gonna need a lot of patience for this stage, but it's worth it. Don't forget to properly make the heart-shaped opening like this. Looks good, too. Uh, do you add water to clay? Yes, Sammy. And how's it going with your mushroom? Well, you can check it out for yourself. It's cool, isn't it? And is this roughness your special designer idea? Uh, I got it. Oh, we'll fix that. I'll do it in the blink of an eye. Uh-oh. Uh, is it any better? Much better, Sammy. Guys, if you liked how Sam did this mushroom, then give a thumbs up. And we move on. Yes, guys, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Phew, I'm a bit tired already. Can we speed this up? Sure, Sammy, let's do it. Ooh, up. A little more. Ah, done. And we're finally at the painting stage! <gasps> Sammy, you heard he started? <laughs> oh, shoot, I decided to follow your example and stop doing snack breaks! Oh, that's why you work so fast. Here comes the red paint. We'll also need some yellow. And some green, uh, of course. Sue, I have a genius idea! Let's set a speed painting contest! I'll paint the roof and the door and you'll do the rest of the house! Awesome idea, Sammy, and the loser will be responsible for cleaning the whole week! Deal! Uh, watch and learn, Sammy. More touches. Here we go. Phew, I'm done. I wonder where Sam is. <clears throat> uh, right here. I finished like two hours ago. How much longer should I wait? Oh, it means I lost. Whatever. It was my turn to do the cleaning, anyways. Susie, that's cheating. You totally tricked me. But the good news is that our craft is amazing. Guys, let's have a closer look. <laughs> <laughs> 